the, the, you know, when he gone during this time, you you raising them boys on your own or trying to? The first time. The second time I was gone before he was gone. So, you was locked up? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it was a point in time my mama had then we both was in the penitentiary at the yeah. same time. Same time. So, yeah, he come from it. He seen it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Yeah. Or whatever, yeah. you know. And how, how long, uh, you, you, you did the three? Did you do the whole nah, three? No, nah, I did 19 months on the three. 19 months and, uh, on the three. And the rest on, on parole? Right, I paroled. That's when I paroled to San Antonio. I moved to San Antonio in 2007. I've been there ever since. Wow. Man, so when you and and this the, the, you know when he gone during this time, you you raising them boys on your own or trying to. The first time, the second time I was gone before he was gone. So you was locked up. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it was a point in time my mama had then we both was in the penitentiary at the yeah. same time. Same time. So yeah, he come from it. He's seen it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How He's old was he it. when you when you left? When I, when I left, he was four. Four. He was four. Okay. And yeah. how long were you gone for? Two years. Two years. Mm. So this is something that that this definitely trickles down. It definitely. But he but he left like I was already there for a year and a half. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when when he left, then I came home. Okay. Did y'all both come home around the same time? I or? came home like six months before, before he did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What was what was it like when you it came was, home for warding them and they seen you and? It, it really wasn't bad because. How old were they when you came home? Six, six, four, and five. Okay, oh, four yeah, and five. five. But his um his ex wife, her mama, they always brought the kids to see me. Like they would come from San Antonio to where was I at? In Gainesville. Mm-hmm. So they would but I never had met her before. So she just reached out one day and wrote me a letter. But this is my first time going to jail for anything, so I'm already messed up because I'm don't wanna be here. So she just show up one day with them. With the kids, and so she started coming every. How did, that, how did that make you feel to see them for the first time while you was locked up? You was happy. Yeah, I was real happy. Like me and Wody, we always like Paco. He always cry like, but Wody, he always like, Mom, keep your head up. Like <laughs> this guy here. I just Straight. think he's he's so young and he's still talking like, like that. Don't cry in front of nobody. Don't you know show no emotions. Just, I like you. Like he knows. <laughs> yeah. That's so yeah. crazy. That that's, is really crazy. That is crazy. crazy. And so. But then, you know, one thing I've always heard, because I hear a lot of people tell us, well, um, my parents was locked up, my parents was locked up, and I've never really had the opportunity to, to hear from a parent who was locked up. How did it feel being locked up away from your kids, away from terrible. your family, you know? It, it, the, the reason it was so terrible for me, because I honestly did not do it. That's the most terrible there thing. There we go. Like, Here we go. <laughs> this is the thing. Yeah, there it something. is right there. I knew me, that was coming. Me and Mr. Walter always being friends. Like, we been over, like, we always just been friends. Right. But he had the type of women that always thought it was something. Mm-hmm. And it really wasn't nothing. Mm-hmm. So I get caught up in okay. his woman thinking that it's something, but right. it's not. Mm-hmm. So she sent her friend to come fight me. When I'm letting her get the kids every weekend, like they always got them. But what is the type you do? You punish him. Mama beat her ass. She put, she hooked me. So I used to listen to that. Oh, I'm finna hook this bitch. She yeah. don't put her hands on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> he be ready to get to it. Yeah, she, yeah. yeah she he knew bad. exactly how to play yeah, you. Yeah, like anytime Mr. Arthur do something, what he don't want to go back. Mm-hmm. So he be like, Mama, she hit me. So then I call her because we cool. I'm cool with all his women. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, what happened? You know, she like, oh, you, you ain't, it ain't about the kids. It's about him. So she like, come meet me and fight. So I go meet her, and fight her. She put me in jail. Then I tell and she him, the one who say, come fight. Yeah. Then she called. She the police already on the call. She trying to set you yeah, up. Yeah. So when I go to jail, I tell him, you better get me out. <laughs> Like, this is your fault. <laughs> and, and, and y'all so, was young, too. We young, so she dropped the charges, but then she sent her homegirl who deal with mental disabilities to come fight. So when I fight her, then they like, oh, you yeah. assaulted a, a, a disability mm-hmm. patient. MHMR patient. Wow. MHMR. Yeah. So right. when I go to jail. That's crazy. Yeah, so I'm not thinking they're going to send me to prison. prison. Mm-hmm. So I take a polygraph test. You I pass. pass it. But then you got a witness that say, no, she did this. 
and you know, witness was my cousin. Damn, <laughs> she go with the your, girl by your cousin. <laughs> wow! And then I never I don't noticed. I fight my cousin right. after that. I never noticed till I'm in jail and I get a letter from him. He in jail. Oh, I'm sorry. Love make you do crazy things. I wish I wouldn't. Oh, never so you done didn't it. know he did. I had no idea to that day. So when they they trying to give me ten years, I'm about to cut my throat. I don't can't even do this time. Yeah, I'm right not here. gonna be able to do this. I'm about to die in here. <laughs> So I can't do I'm, no I'm so suicidal through the whole process. The officer and you wasn't thinking about your kids at all. No, because I'm go ready ahead. to go. Because they got their daddy and, uh, and nine stepmamas. So I'm ready to me. I'm ready to go. So then they come back and like, well, we could give you two years. And so Mr. Walter, like, take the two years. I got the kids. <laughs> take take the, two. the two years. He just ready, but because he done he been to prison to be before, yeah. so he know. And I'm like, but what if they come back with more? And like, no, I'll just take the two years and go. Uh, he know but that's, that's the best you're going to get. The county time process was really fast because he always made somebody brought the kids up there. That had the time to, to go by. Because me and my kids always had, like, a real... Close relationship. Close relationship. Like, if I'm sleeping in the car, they sleep in the car. If we homeless, they homeless. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, y'all finna go to San Antonio. No, we will sleep outside with you. Because <laughs> when I came home, everything was good and everything just dropped. Just dropped because before I went, I never was a, in the streets, in the club, nothing. But when I came home, everything was different. So now I'm outside in the club, in the streets. So I, I spent a lot of money on Why do you think that um, being in jail changed you like that? Really, going to jail, it really helped me because before I went to jail, I didn't know nothing. Like, I didn't know how to do nothing. Like, mm -hmm. I learned everything while I was in there. Like, when I came out, I knew everything I didn't know. Like, I didn't know how to do nothing but really change diapers and take her kids. That's it. But it gives you time to think, right? Yeah. It gives you so time to grow up. I learned, who, I learned who God was. I yeah. read the Bible for the my first time reading the Bible was when you I was in jail. Even though I went to church every Sunday. From a kid, but so I never had read the Bible. It's a big difference, That's ain't it? Yeah, so it's a real big difference. Real big difference. And the crazy thing is I used to pray, and but I never read the Bible. And so when I went to jail. Because you were doing what you were taught. Right. I met a mentor. Right. Who wasn't in jail. She just come to the jail and talked to people. Mm -hmm. So I just bonded with her. Then I became a, 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 a priest. Oh, you was jail. a priest in the so jail. So I started praying for people. <laughs> they going to court. They getting out. I'm mad because I ain't. I'm, I ain't getting out. So now I don't want to pray for them no more. <laughs> like I'm telling God, I ain't praying for them no more. I ain't praying for nobody. You told me you were taking me home. I ain't went home. So one day I'm in. They always put me in a single cell because of the assault. So one day I'm mad at God. We battling back and forth. I said, like, you tell me I'm going home. I ain't go home. I'm not praying for nobody. I don't want to have no relationship with you no more. It's over. So they, I'm wrecked in the cell. She breaking up with God. Yeah, so then, wow. I hear, then, then this is the first time I ever hear I ever hear God's voice. And he's saying, he say, I, I never told you that. So from, from that point on, I go to court and I take the two years. He like, take the two years, just take it. So I take the two years. Cause in this time they never give me no bond. But the officers, they all love me. Like shout out to Miss O at Tarrant County. The, all the officers, Miss Birdo, they all just taking care of me. Cause they see that I'm, I'm everywhere in this situation. So I go to court and go to prison. So when I go to prison, it's, it's a whole different world. Wow. In in that prison. In that prison. Yeah, it's, it's different. So, But when I get out, me and, and the kids, I didn't see them for like a month when I first came home. Then when I see them, we just file back in place. They yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.